All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And welcome back to the channel. I got a bunch of heads on the table. I'm trying to help you decide which one is for you. Just showing what I have, why I need all these and when I use these. For example, this is a ball head. A ball head is very uh, fast. The speed uh, and versatility uh, are going to be like its main pros because you can do quick adjustment just, uh, you know, with the main knob, you can fast uh, repositioning uh, this thing really, really Really quick uh, it can be used in various types of photography when especially you do not need like perfect accuracy it's compact it's relatively small and uh, therefore it's going to be portable and uh, very good for travel so this is uh, going to be a pretty good option of course it's not going to be a good option if you need exactly precise composition uh, uh, micro movements uh, just forget about that also, if you need like extreme load capacity, it's not going to be, depends still, but it's not going to be the best choice. Also, there's going to be dirt, sand issues that it might, uh, uh, might affect uh, uh, the movements, uh, you know, of uh, the um, of the mechanism of uh, of the of the head. So that's gonna be really depending on uh, the situations. But I love this one. This is Arca Swiss. This is uh, the uh, P zero. It has uh, uh, Arca Swiss head like a double dovetail for both uh, uh, the plates. This kind of like Arca Swiss classic uh, plate you can find like on f like a lens, a tripod, foot or just camera plate. Or it also has this smaller monoball fix uh, which is going like here. You see it's not the big uh, classic Arca Swiss. It's also Arca Swiss but uh, it's the less known and I mean, I love this monoball fix. It's uh, super quick and allows for more compact um, uh, heads. But anyways, uh, this is the uh, just, you know, quick... Uh, uh, com uh, ...considerations about the uh, uh, ball head. Right next to that, we got a geared head, which uh, in this case, this is going to be probably my favorite uh, uh, head. It's very expensive also arca swiss this is the d4 and uh it has pretty much everything i need uh, uh in a head when especially i need precision so this head is really really precise you can do like uh, maybe let's do it here so you can see uh, the movement over here actually sorry like that you see it's going to be very precise, like with the full turn, you're just going to move a little bit of the head. This is my favorite head when I shoot 617, when I want to do very, very strict and precise composition. You can, do pre you can have precise adjustments uh, and you do not have to loosen or tighten anything. That is going to be the deal. So this thing, it just... And uh, loosen up everything and you're going to be able to move it very quickly of course you lock it in place and you use the geared movement to precisely do a deliberate adjustment and uh, uh, at the same time doing very very precise adjustment this guy has an insane stability when this is angled like you can load a lot of weight on this one and have it like angled to a crazy uh, degree it's it's fantastic if you have heavy cameras um, large formats this thing is gonna be amazing because you can fine-tune um, your composition to the max I love this one. What what are the cons? Of course, this is going to be a slow thing. Don't uh, expect to be shooting birds with this thing because there's adjustment done with the knobs and it's super time consuming uh, compared to this one. Forget about that. Actually, another thing it's like, of obviously, you see this bulkier and heavier. It's, it's larger than this kind of thing. Any of the other heads, I mean, this kind of you know yeah but this is lighter than that anyways uh that's gonna be another issue you know bulk and heavy and you're gonna have no uh, limited uh 
positioning when uh, and slower positioning for the camera when you're going to be using this guy. So if you need to reposition quickly, this is going to be the, the one uh, you want to choose. This is not for speed. This is for accuracy, precision and pinpoint uh, accurate composition of your insanely large format and heavy cameras. Go with this guy right over here. And then I got uh, I gotta show you like this one because this is you know it's a fluid head. Uh, this is the Jitsu. I think it's called the, the dual two way head, something like that. Uh, here you go. That's the G H F two way. Yeah. So I remember something like that. So anyways, this is a fluid head, uh, and I use this one uh, especially for um, for my Swarovski um, spotting scope. Because it's a very heavy, very long uh, scope, and this is going to be my preferred uh, uh, intended use for this one. Of course, fluid head, that's for video. You want to do videos, that's your head. It's going to be extremely um, producing extremely smooth movements. The fluid heads, they have like a, you know, that cinematic panning and tilting that is going to look super professional in your footage. So this is something that you want uh, to add to your video 100%. Uh, you, sometimes you can customize the drag uh, right over here. You, you have um, an option to uh, engage or disengage uh, uh, the tension uh, in the tilt uh, and uh, you have all these uh, you see the degrees of uh, um, tilting of course of your uh, fluid head and uh, it's it, it's amazing I mean it's durable super smooth like uh, the pan the tilt and these knobs are uh, really well machined and it's a pleasure to use that's what I mean uh, both for viewing pleasure or for shooting pleasure uh, of course they're gonna be a little bit on the expensive side it depends which one you're gonna get and definitely are gonna be bulkier uh, than because of this arm that is sticking out to ensure you like very precise movement so this is gonna be bulkier not so much heavier for example in this case this is heavier than that but definitely it's gonna occupy much more space in uh, in your uh, in your camera uh, bag then we got this thing which is an odd one. This is very specific uh, usage. And this is a Wimberley. Um, this is called MH100. It's a lateral uh, tilt, uh, sorry, swing, which actually works. For example, you have a lens, whatever. This is a, this is a let's see here, a Kirk Hankton Prize solution. This is for uh, my 400 or 7200 uh, for the Nikon Z mount. Uh, so this just slides in and you're gonna use it like so. So the tripod, in this case, in my case, this is mounted on a monopod, but still, uh, you have the monopod right over here, and you're gonna have your camera right over here, okay, mounted on this way, shooting like that, so with one hand you hold it like this, and you have the monopod with your long lens right over here. So because you're gonna have a tripod uh, uh, foot collar on the lens, you can rotate the lens and have it horizontally so that's why I love this uh, uh, thing right over here it's a pretty cool one it's very light it's super fast it's very flexible for birding when you need to follow up down unpredictable movements you want to use this kind of uh, uh, head on your tripod it's I mean, on your monopod in my case this is what I use it for it is perfect it's just a nice little piece of gear which is uh, uh, of course, better than this one. This is the Manfrotto uh, 234. This is just like uh, tilting like so. This one is rotating in the tilt and it has an extra, of course, Arca Swiss uh, um, plate attachment right over here. So, of course, much more preferred. This one you would have to mount the length like that and it, it's not gonna really work. So. Uh, for, for the intended use, you're going to have it uh, off-center in this case, it's on-center in this case, but this can uh, accept uh, less load, of course, but it's more compact, it's lighter. This is ideal for a, a smaller lens, uh, if you need just to do uh, an easy tilt uh, with this, uh, and you can also use it on a monopod, on a smaller monopod, when uh, weight uh, um, is going to be constricted, you can opt for something a little bit lighter, and uh, with, of course, 
more restrictions because it's always a compromise. It's like the, the sheet when you uh, sleep in the bed. It's too short. You know, you pull and the feet are going to be cold. You, you cover the feet and you're going to have your chest uh, <laughs> uncovered. It's always a, a sheet that is too, cord, uh, too short. La coperta è troppo corta, we say in Italy, right? Anyways, this is uh, Embal Pro 75 um, from Novoflex, uh, uh, made in Germany. And uh, this is a leveling base, uh, which is extremely smooth. I love to use this in conjunction with this guy, especially uh, sometimes also like with this one, uh, because this one has a tendency to be pretty slow in uh, positioning, as I just said. But if you have this guy, it's a very quick adjustment. So it's kind of like a semi-ball head uh, that you install, for example, underneath your um, head. And if you do not have your tripod perfectly leveled when you approach the shot, you can quickly level this one using the level, the bubble level on the head, you quickly adjust this uh, according to the terrain and uh, that's it. You lock it in place and this is going to be leveled. So you do not worry about uh, the length of the legs of your tripod with this kind of accessory. It's much quicker if you need uh, to do, you know, a, a quick positioning. Then you're going to be using the more precise gear head if you want to do that very strict uh, composition th uh, that requires fine adjustments with the gear head. You want to have a smooth uh, uh, vision uh, with your uh, scope or you're doing videos, of course you're going to get one of these. You want to do something quick, something uh, uh, you know that doesn't require any precision and you're maybe backpacking, go ahead and get a ball head. This is, of course, birding paradise with a monopod and a long lens. That's going to be your preferred way. There is also a couple others uh, 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 heads for tripod. These are not all the heads that are available because, of course, you can get a pan and tilt head. Um, the pan and tilt heads, they have a very, very nice precision because they have separate arms for pan and tilt adjustments. So you have very, very precise control. Uh, weight capacity, of course, is going to be amazing because these are made for you know handling uh, more weight so all good to load whatever you want they're gonna be bulky of course you know they're gonna be slow of course but that is intended for a kind of photography that doesn't require speed you're gonna be doing landscape you're gonna be doing uh, you know precise composition so who's running after you why you need something fast slow down take it easy use a pan and tilt head if you want to do your panoramic shot and don't worry about the the the, the bulk the weight the slowness because you have to take it easy that's 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 very simple that's all you have to do in uh, alternative to this one there's another kind of head which is the gimbal head um which i opted because i have a 400 uh, 45 so it's not too bulky z9 and teleconverter that's gonna be probably my heaviest one maybe down the road i'll be getting the 600 but it's too expensive for now so i cannot afford it so that's why i'm using this but in that case or maybe you have the your you know splurging and you have the 400 uh, 28 with the teleconverter or the 604 with the teleconverter you can go and actually i would recommend to get a gimbal head it can weigh, uh, support much more weight so it's going to be ideal for those heavy lenses it's going to give you more balance and uh, a really ease of movement with that big cannon you're shooting with it's usually modular so you can have uh, different models uh, uh, for different lenses it's going to be extremely quick um, in moving and uh, catching and following the target and it's going to be having stabilized movement so tracking of fast birds cars whatever is going to be a joy what's the downside of that gimbal head is going to be heavy, it's going to be uh, bulky, uh, because, of course, you, I have those features that I just mentioned, and you're going to have to trade off something, and it's going to be portability. Don't forget, those are big uh, and bulky pieces of gear, not made for precision work. You need to, uh, you know, loosen, tighten the knobs so to, to do precise adjustment. That is like for following like an unpredictable bird or car or whatever that's going to be moving fast. So 
keep that in mind, you know? And if you use a wide angle, ugh, it's not gonna be the best. So if you have a long one, go for it. Short one, don't do that. Another uh, quickly, um, just mentioning quickly the panoramic, uh, uh, sorry, the pistol head uh, is uh, something interesting. I mean, it's super easy to compose with those and uh, probably a little bit easier than the ball head. So that you would you compare that to, it would be this one. Uh, they're fast, you, pretty easy to use, but they're bulkier than this. And uh, probably the, the load capacity is not going to be like uh, as good as this one. For sure, not as good as this one. It might be pretty much one of those like three way um, panoramic head, which I really do not like with the uh, long thing. I, just n not for me. I mean, these are for me. This is all I will ever need. And this is a ball head. This is a gear head. This is a fluid head. This is the a Wimberly head that I use with a monopod and this is just another a very similar uh, tilting one and just a leveling base which kind of technically it's not really a head even if you can mount a camera it can act as a head but you get the point. You have various heads, you have uh, various uh, uh, intended usages uh, that are more suitable for each one of these and uh, you have to know uh, what you're going to be shooting, where you're going to be shooting, how you're going to be shooting and then you're going to pick one of these. In You don't have to buy these brands, I mean, but this is just an example of what's available on the market and what I'm choosing to shoot with because uh, I really uh, found that Arca Swiss, I mean, it's just uh, crazy good quality. Jitsu also, yes, but Arca Swiss, I would say, go for it. Don't think twice. It's, it's going to make your work much easier. So there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.